So this is the most complicated row. And here comes the sun sweater and it happens, let's see, one, two, three, four, five times. Three times in the body and one in each sleeve. So I have three colors to strand and I have increases to do. And this is how I'm currently doing it. So I just did an increase. So now I have five yellow stitches and I have to um, catch a float of my pink. And last row, I caught a float in the middle of the yellow, so now I, I can't catch the float in the same place. So I'm going to catch it behind the yellow, the second yellow stitch. So I just did one yellow stitch, so I just grab what I need. If I wanna catch a pink float, behind my yellow stitch, I go into my stitch below and I go over the pink and grab the yellow stitch. And I, you saw how I gave it a little shove with my thumb. And then to just resolve it, you'll see how the pink is kind of crossing over the yellow. Then I just grab the yellow as I normally would. And I'm constantly stretching out my stitches on my right hand needle. So my floats are nice and long and I'm supposed to have five yellow stitches here. So let me finish those out. All right, and I'm gonna stretch there. So that was that first part. Now on either side of these five yellow stitches, I have to increase. So I'm increasing a white. So I'm going into my white bar below and just then when I need the white oops sometimes it's hard to grab it especially because I'm have a camera in my lap so I'm gonna increase and again I'm gonna spread out my stitches so that that float that goes behind from this white from one increase to the next is nice and long and then I have one more white stitch so there I did that now I have to do nine pink stitches. And I have to catch floats within nine stitches, obviously. I'm actually gonna catch two yellow floats and one white float right in the middle. So, what I've decided to do, and I do write all these down in my chart so I don't do it the same the next row, meaning you shouldn't catch floats on the same stitch two rows in a row, two rows in a row, okay. So, pink. So. Another thing I do, my last time I caught my pink was on this middle yellow stitch. So when I knit my first pink, I'm gonna kind of hold this yellow stitch back a little bit. Hard to grab, again, because I have the camera in my lap, really. So this pink stitch is coming from this float caught here. So I'm spreading out again. And then on this next stitch is when I'm gonna catch the yellow float. So I'm gonna kind of hold this yellow stitch back. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna go under the yellow to grab my pink. So I just caught a yellow float in that stitch. And now you'll see that the yellow is kind of over the pink so I have to resolve that catch. So I'm gonna go in and I kind of just pull the yellow away to grab the pink. Hopefully you were able to see that. And again, I'm gonna stretch everything out so I already caught one yellow float. Now I need four pinks out of the nine. Oops, there. I can actually do this pretty quickly when I'm not talking and filming. Now I have to catch a white float because my white has to stretch nine stitches. So again, this little thing I do is I hold my, oops, I'm not right in the center. Hope it's better. I'm gonna hold this white stitch back as I catch a white float. Now notice white is on the bottom. I can still do it the same way though. I'm gonna to go to catch a white float under the white. I'm gonna stay in front of the yellow, grab my pink, pull it through. And then you can see the white is crossing over the, the pink right there. So I have to resolve that catch of the float and I'm just gonna go back over the white to catch the pink and spread it out because I just caught a float. I want to make sure that float in the back is not too tight. And then I have, let's see, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh wait, no, that's not right. Two, four, six, seven. Now I have to catch another yellow float. The last yellow float, well, last time I used yellow was way back here. Last time I caught a yellow, oops, I just lost a stitch. Darn it. Sorry. Definitely not, oops, gosh. Definitely not easy filming, watching my hands, watching the camera to make sure I'm in the center. And then, and sometimes I have to, if these get loose, I just reach behind and just tug on all my tails. So there we go. So I think I was at two, four, six, seven. So I, on this eighth one, I have to catch a yellow float because the last time I used yellow was way back here. Last time I caught a float was here. So I've gone five stitches. So I'm gonna go into pink, under yellow, grab the pink. So now I caught the float, resolve the catching of the float. There, and that should be nine stitches. Two, four, six, eight, nine it is. Then I just have to do my two white stitches. Oops, ah! It's getting a little loosey-goosey, that's why it's so hard to grab it. There, there's one. And the second one is actually my increase. Going in the bar, increasing and pulling. And the last time my white was caught was in the center of these pinks. So I'm just making sure everything is nice and spread out. And that's how I do all of my stranding, catching of floats, and increasing all in one row. Eek! 